Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Have you ever felt like okay, I do have all the basics in place, but I still feel I don't have anything to wear? Well, I do feel like that from time to time and today I'm going to show you white outfits which are whole on their own and they can go beyond your traditional white plain top because sometimes we just get bored. So this is not only going to help you find some of those pieces in your wardrobe that you can style better but I'm also going to tell you how you can add more white staples in your wardrobe next time you go shopping without always thinking that basic means a basic plain white tee. So the first item that we've got on our list is this knotted white top which is knotted here and shows a little bit of the midsection. Now this has been handpicked owing to the texture that it offers and the placement of the knot and the nice deep V neckline that it provides. So this knot actually goes over and under and then it's been very strategically made that it can look like this. Today I chose to pair it with palazzos and I would love to put on some nice ethnic jewellery to give it like a in the western kind of a look or even an ethnic look because this is something that I would definitely wear. It really doesn't matter if it creases because this is the kind of one that you can literally shove in your bag and even if it comes out with a little bit of crease it looks quite perfect. It almost gives the appearance of crushed paper when you go to the craft store you have these different sorts of paper and this feels as if somebody has replicated that pattern onto the clothes. So the moment I paired it with the skirt, it totally transforms the look and from ethnic you can straight away transition into something which is a little more put together for an evening look or a brunch or just a casual hangout. That's the versatility of this white top and it's a great addition to your wardrobe. This can also be a great addition to your beach wardrobe because you do not always need to wear a bikini to look and feel sexy but you can also manipulate around other pieces of wardrobe which just hug your body in the right places to show off those beautiful curves and also create natural curves because of their draping property. So what I have done is I have added a nice sarong which I also got from Urbanic and this is a staple in itself. So all in all this is a perfect piece and versatile enough to add that extra spice to your wardrobe and this is quite a staple if you ask me. What do we have got next? Well it's the bandeau, it's a white bandeau and I absolutely love this piece because it's just the right fit the right color, the right texture and it hugs my body in the right places. The great part about a bandeau is also the neck area that you get to play with which means you can accessorize it to your utmost capability. This immediately I think brings the whole look down from dressy to a more styled up version of semi-formals. A favorite way of wearing this bandeau is also with a kimono like this. Next we've got this dress which is straight up dreamy. I mean I don't have any other better word to describe it. The neckline, the texture, the lace, the net, there is so much which is going on and the moment I saw it I was like let me order it. Such a statement addition to the wardrobe that I want all attention to go to this dress itself and I do not want to overcrowd it with jewelry. These ones are from H&M which I had got on sale and they are some of the best platform heels that I own. I do not want to add orange and colors like that sometimes and that's when I stick to you know these kind of shoes chunky ones which are comfortable to walk in and yeah that definitely pulls the whole look together. Next up we've got a green top. Green you ask? I'm kidding. Of course not. I'm wearing this green halter top because I'm going to show you the next item which is a plain white kimono got a beautiful pattern near the sleeve it's there all over what you can do is you can also wear this with ethnic wear meaning that you can wear something which is halter neck let's say like this top in itself imagine if this was a kurta i don't have one like that but you can wear that with your uh, palazzos and then you put this one on top it's a statement in itself and doesn't take away much from your original outfit which is the karta and then what you do is you wear chunky heavy jewelry uh, and you know kind of decorate your neckline
In this video itself, we did talk about another kimono and I want to highlight the difference between that one and this. Well, this is the one that we showed earlier and the biggest difference is the draping capability of this one. Uh, by draping capability, I mean how it falls on the body. So for something like this, it falls straight. It doesn't drape the body well because of the, of the kind of satiny finish that it has. However, the moment we move on to a material like this, it's very good for the summers because it's a breathable material. There are these tiny spaces that you can see when you hold it up to the light which gives it sort of semi sheer kind of a, I would say look which makes it so different from any other kimono and it is not like a traditional shrug, it's not like a traditional cover up but this is quite the addition whether you want to go to the beach you don't want to go to the beach you just want to casually go out with your friends go for a drink but feel casual feel relaxed feel like you can let off some steam i just want to say that next year's projection looks quite good in terms of the numbers i think that what we require from you is co-investment of around fifty thousand dollars because i think we can definitely and I believe that we can grow it by 31% year on year, which does put you in that high million dollar bracket. If that didn't speak business, then what else will? So yeah, I've got the shirt, which I borrowed from my husband's wardrobe because right now I don't own a shirt like this. So good cuff and nice collar are some of the first things that I look in a white shirt for. And especially I've seen that when it comes to men's shirts, they fit me much better because how structured it feels when I put it on my body compared to women's white shirt. And while I'm fighting for my rights every single day, I might as well dress like a lawyer. That's why I feel that a white shirt is such a staple in your wardrobe because you can do so much. You can roll your cuffs, be like this, be casual, or you can button it up or you can drape it like this. You can tie it in the front. You can do literally n number of things. You can even wear a slip dress and wear a shirt on top of that. So there are so many things that can be done with a white shirt and you know where exactly to put in the effort to look effortless. Today you saw the number of ways you can include whites in your wardrobe and you do not need to shy away from this color at all and I strongly strongly urge you to go and experiment with different kind of clothes, understand your body type and wear clothes that fit your body that are made to fit your body and sometimes if you want to do some of those runs to the tailor and get a few things fitted here and there. Uh, it will look tailor-made for your body. Thank you so much if you have survived till the end of this video and please do come visit again and leave some of your comments and let me know what you liked about this video, which look was your favorite or something that you would like to try out. Thank you so much. Bye guys. Tu, 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 tu meri ri, ri, na tera ra hone laga.